Combinator, drop that in there and we'll look through some of the patches. Combinator patches, uh, down performance patches layer, let's bring up more sugar. And we can see that this combination is actually made up of a few different devices. On the instrument side, we have a Maelstrom and a Thor that are actually playing the sounds and we have a couple of effects right here. So if we open up and show the programmer, you can see that the Maelstrom and the, um, the Thor have actually got key ranges of the entire width of the keyboard. So they'll be layered on top of each other. I'll just play a note and both of them will play. Let me close up this uh, programmer again and um, just check out what's going on with a mixer. So here's a unison sound, or actually a string sound, which is going through the unison, which is being routed up here. The last thing in this chain is what automatically gets named up here on the mixer. So I could have just the string sound, and the routing of that is from the maelstrom through the unison, which if I open this up here, we could thicken up a bit. So that is going to the first channel, and then the second channel is the Thor playing an electric piano sound almost like a DX7. Now you'll notice that the RV7000 is being uh, set up on the AUX1, so we could reverberate or have the DX6 right here just dry or reverberated. And we could be doing the same thing here over with a unison, but with a string sound, we probably won't be able to hear that reverb on the string too much. Okay, so let's swing this tab around and we can see all of the wiring uh, within this rack. And if we were to open these guys up a little bit, you can see exactly what's going on and it pretty much makes sense, right? We have our maelstrom. The output of that is going into the unison. The output of the unison is going up into channel one. And the Thor is going up into input channel two. And our reverb, if we open this up right here, is being sent out onto our AUX send and returned back here. Then the output of the mixer is going into the combinator from devices. And then the output of the combinator is going into the first channel of our main mixer. Now, if that seems like a lot of stuff that you need to um, kind of um, uh, take care of, don't worry about it. If you start out with a new uh, combinator, then just drop your mixer up the top and then any instrument that gets placed up underneath that will automatically get patched. Any reverb device that you want to place on, say, the AUX end, you can just drag it underneath the mixer and it'll automatically be placed into the uh, AUX end and return. And then if you want to add any effects to any of these devices, then just drag that effect directly below the device and that will be placed in line. And of course, all of this wiring, all of these uh, the mix, all of the, uh, the patches that are brought up, they can all be saved into a single combinator patch. That's the bomb. Drag anything uh, you want inside the combinator. Uh, tweak the individual uh, instruments and effects, uh, mess with the routing, anything you want, and then save the whole thing as just a single combinator patch. The combinator is very powerful and I suggest uh, that you bring up some patches and see how they're made. It's really an education in signal routing.